Trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a Sultanicals wash day. It's just been way too long since I've used Sultanicals. Y'all know I love the leave-in. I love a lot of the deep conditioners, the creams. Like I think it's a really good brand overall. I just haven't been using it because I just have so much products to try. I just have so many products to try. I haven't really been using it. But I was like, okay, today let's do it. So I think I've tried half of it before on the channel and half is new. So a little old, a little new, let's get to it. So I'm starting off with the Coco Rasu Butter Shampoo, which I have reviewed before on this channel. And like I said, this is more of a co-wash and a gentle co-wash at that. But you know right now I've been living the shampoo life. So I'm gonna use this in the way that I mentioned it works really well for me, which is to mix it with a stronger shampoo. In this case, the Kinky Curly Come Clean, which really takes all the business and leaves it out the door, like really stripping. So and that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna mix this pretty thick yummy cho chocolatey scented cream with some of the kinky curly come clean and apply it to my hair kinky curly come clean and i'm mixing it because it's not really an official review it's more like a wash day and i have a demo of this on my channel already so you can see all this work by itself if you want to but you do <laughs> so go check that out uh anywho so i'm being a very generous i guess with the shampoo I'm trying to remember because i know this was like just please put a drop in a bucket of water so i'm being pretty generous with it but still kind of so softening it up with this gentle kind of cleansing conditioner so you can tell me what you do with co-washes that are too gentle or shampoos that are too stripping this is one of my little things Oh yes, definitely works well together. So this is what we're working with. We're gonna go ahead and rinse. Okay, so this is what my hair is looking like after rinsing. It's not as moisturized as if I had just used the butter, but it's also cl cleaner, so it's a good trade-off. And now I'm gonna get to the deep conditioner. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> mm, it just smells like really spicy, which I like. Mm. Smells very slightly minty, maybe slightly gingery, but it just smells spicy, like a nice sweet potpourri spicy. So, love the scent. Like it has peppermint, clove, all the things that just give you a really nice scent. It definitely has ginger, I don't really see any glycerin or honey or anything. It is a cream, but it's a light cream. It's been a while since I used a light product. <laughs> see myself using the entire thing already just because I'm two dips in and I mean it's on my hair but it doesn't feel really like coated like how I like to bathe in it <laughs> so I can definitely see myself using all and again it's also been a while since I used an entire eight ounce but let's keep going I think I'm smelling the clove the peppermint the ginger all that it really smells good Oh, did I show you guys? I don't even think I did. <laughs> it's a Cheve Ginger Deep Conditioner. And let's start working it in right away. The slip definitely is not amazing. Really feels like there isn't much on my hair, I'll be honest. I know you should be used too much stuff. Figure using a whole jar, we should be fine at least. I'm just trying to whip this in a little bit. I know the leave-in is a favorite, so as long as I can get my way to the leave-in, we'll be fine to get through this deep conditioning step. <laughs> Which isn't to say that I don't love the deep conditioner, I just don't know yet, but you know, it's very light, a lot, you have to use a lot basically, 
and the slip isn't that great. It feels almost like there isn't much on my hair. Let's put it that way. Okay, so this is my hair after application. I definitely used it all, but I definitely have enough. I don't feel like I need another jowl, like a, I don't have enough for anything. And my scalp is kind of tingly, but not in an excessive way. And yeah, it feels moisturized already, so it's not a sitter, it's pretty instant. So, but I am gonna let it sit for 30 minutes and then come back to you. So, so far besides, I wish it had more slip. It's still doing really well in terms of moisture and everything. Plus, like, it has all these great ingredients. Okay, it said massage into scalp for extra benefits. Like I said, my scalp already tingling, but we can do it, you know? I don't usually like to massage conditioner into my scalp, but I'll make an exception for this one. And y'all, my hair feels great already. Like, my strands feel so moisturized and soft. And I haven't even let it sit yet, so, yeah. So far, I'm liking it. Yes, y'all, yes. <laughs> I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. <laughs> it's brand new, but I like it, I like it. Okay, so I'll be back. See you in a bit. So I'm back after letting it sit. My hair just feels light and moisturized, which is how I like my hair to feel. Like even before I let it sit, like, you know, I just like that instant moisture and penetration. And this is definitely giving me that. So I'm happy overall. The only downside I would say is that I wish it had a bit more slip, but other than that, I really love this deep conditioner. Plus, like, all the ingredients is just a plus, so you get the moisture and you get the onion juice and the ginger and the clove and the chebe and everything. So it's just, you know, definitely something I can see myself repurchasing and using regularly in my regimen. So yeah, loved it. Let's get on to the styling. This, this is my first time using this on my channel as well, so you know it's good that I can actually bring this to you. Let me know if you've tried it. I know I'm kind of late with it, but you know if you buy Sultana goods and you haven't picked it up yet, definitely pick it up. I think it'll work great for all hair types because it's like light but moisturizing. And now get into the styling portion. We have my one of my favorite leave-ins, the first verse leave-in from Sultana Curls. Yay! yay. <laughs> and we have the curl glaze hair glaze. So if you haven't used this before, it's not a gel. Does it say it's a gel anywhere? Let me see, because this is not a gel. Yeah, it does say it's a gel. Well, it's not a gel, <laughs> okay? This, oh shit. Y'all saw that, right? I mean, it's screwed tight, but it's still flying all over. That just shows you how watery it is anyway. This is the consistency. It's water, right? Water, like just water. It's not a gel in any shape or form. Um, but I do think it has some definition, but basically I'm not about to play myself using this as a gel. So I'll be using it over the leave-in and then I'll be adding some Eco Styler on top of it. So hopefully it'll just soften the Eco Styler. That would be, if it just softens and moisturizes the Eco Styler, that would be great for me. I don't need it to be a gel much more than that. I did waste about half of it because every time you put it on your hands, half drips because it's water like I said. But if you haven't seen this used before, now you're about to. <laughs> and with the Eco Style and everything, it seems like it's working out pretty good so far. Alright, let's get to the front. <laughs> Like I said, I've reviewed this leave-in before on my channel, but I just love it. It's just very kind of soft, silky, moisturizing, great slip. Actually adds a whole nice definition. So this is on the podium for one of my favorite leave-ins. Some of it just ended up on the floor. Um, I think it's tied for top three, or is the top two? with the Inasi leave-in and possibly the Bakura Beauty um, hair latte. So this is my hair after applying the leave-in, just juicy, moisturized, happy. <laughs> and now I'm gonna try to get some of that glaze on my hair so this glaze like I said is a struggle so I'm just gonna put it over here on the rest so it's on here but <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna put some on because like 
if I have to have any prayer of actually getting it on, I'm gonna have to just try to get it on as soon as I spray it. It has an interesting scent as well. I know I haven't been talking about the scent. Um, what's the smell like? I don't really like the scent, but it's very light. I guess it is probably like some kind of herbal scent, but not one I like. <laughs> uh, it's a very light scent. So I do feel like it does a little something something in terms of definition and whole, I wouldn't say nothing, but probably not enough either. So it does do a little something in terms of definition and whole, I can't say it does nothing because I do see that there is some definition, I do feel like there is some hole, but I'd be very skeptical like just letting my hair dry like this without putting like some insurance on top of it. <laughs> If any of y'all use this um, as a styler by itself and you have like curly or kinky hair, let me know. Because <laughs> I think probably only somebody with like loose waves can get away with using this um, alone. It has added definition for sure, I just don't trust it. Like, <laughs> really don't trust it. So, back in the day I would have let it dry like this, but yeah, I'm going out tomorrow and I don't trust it. <laughs> But this is it with the hair glaze and the leave-in. Definition is there, but is this gonna hold when the product is basically just water? It's not even holding it down itself, like, you know? It's not even a glaze, like, it's not even, like, a little thick at all. So, yeah, it's not even holding itself. How is it gonna hold my hair? I don't know. So, some eco style will be occurring presently. And if it gives me eco style a whole bit like moisture, I'll consider it a win because that's what I was kind of hoping for by planning to use the combination. From the time I shook it and felt the water, I knew it wasn't going to be going on alone. <laughs> so if you are looking for like a topper or a bottomer, <laughs> I don't know, like I know you guys who use multiple layers of gels. I think this might be a good one because I do feel like it's moisturizing and I do feel like it adds definition. So it definitely does something. So if you are the type that likes to pair multiple gels, the only thing is it does have this fin. And I know, I don't know, I know a lot of you doublers don't really like to use things with glycerin. But if you are a doubler that likes to use things with glycerin, I think this will add moisture and definition to your washing room or your style. This is my hair after adding the Eco Styler. And I'm just going to shake it out and then, yay, tomorrow, yay, wash day done, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wash and go. <laughs> so this is my wet result, I guess. And I'll see you guys in the bit when it dries. Well, here it is. Need I say more? People have been noticing my hair has been getting kind of shorter. I've just kept like cutting it. Like, I'm just so over it. If I see any piece sticking out, now I'm cutting it. Like, I have some of my trash right now. <laughs> like, this is my life right now. Like, you know, it's just going. It's just going. When this corona thing gets sorted out, I don't know. I might come back a lot shorter than this. We'll see how it goes. So, yeah, but I'm enjoying this. And I do feel like it's softer and more moisturized than if I had just used the Eco Styler. So those of you who like gel layers, or those of you who have a very silky texture, I would definitely recommend the hair glaze. I'm even tempted to buy it again, like if I can use it under gels and like reduce the crunch. So it's still a tad crunchy, but it's a lot less crunchy than me using Eco Styler by itself. So if I could use it under something like Eco Styler to reduce the crunch, or maybe over, like I still haven't tried over, but it might be a great topper or bottomer just to add moisture, reduce crunch. And so I definitely recommend it like that. Like I said, it's pretty much water. Like it just keeps dripping everywhere. Like I said, it's pretty much water. So don't buy it to use by itself unless your hair is really silky and you basically don't need gel. So I do think it will add definition and reduce frizz regardless, but for kinky hair, you know, it may not have enough hold, but if you want to just use it to get some softness, a little moisture, then yeah, I recommend it for that. Like I said, the scent is a kind of weird fresh herbal, 
Not my favorite, but it's not horrible either. But if you're into that kind of scent, like not fruity at all kind of scent, you may like it. I'm definitely enjoying my hair, enjoying my week. I'm almost tempted to buy it again just so I can have this experience because I usually hate using Kabama Thai gels. You guys know that. I don't even have to say that. So to be using Kabama and enjoy my wash, my result is a like a miracle, amazing thing. It has happened other times and I never did that video, but really if I can just put some kind of softener, some kind of butter or something with the Kabama gel, it can really just give me the best of both worlds in terms of moisture and less crunch. So this is another way to do that basically for me. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. No, no. Okay, I love it. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay fine. <laughs> so now let me just talk about the deep conditioner. So pretty much everything I mentioned when I was applying it still stands. Not that much slip. Did use the whole thing like cleaned it out. But I did like appreciate the tingle. I did appreciate the ingredients. My hair was moisturized at the end, and overall, it's definitely something I would repurchase. So. In a sense, two winners. Two winners if you don't try to use this by itself and if you're expecting what's to come out. I still think it needs to be like in a spritz bottle or something, but the way I used it was definitely a win. And you guys already know from my previous reviews, I love the other two items I used. So I'm happy, I'm thrilled. <laughs> okay, so let me show you the Cherry Bay Ginger Deep Conditioner. Show you the ingredients. So just kind of all the good stuff, like all the good stuff. So this is definitely something I would like to use more frequently like purchase it every black friday i'm trying to use it you know try to use it so yeah the curl glaze hair glaze and the ingredients for that yay so tentacles it was nice coming back to you did have a great wash day i don't think i have any new hgs but the deep conditioner is definitely top shelf which does say a lot because it means like it's in the top 20% of deep conditioners I've tried, which is probably like 100. So, yeah. I guess eight and a half just because of the lack of slip, otherwise it would have been nine and a, nine and a half probably. So definitely would repurchase this. Um, and I even think I might repurchase this, like, you know? And I just might. I have to think about it some more, but I'm loving my hair and it definitely has its purpose. It definitely has its place, so. Yeah, and I found, I found this place. <laughs> so that's it. There's so much I could say about Sultanicals, but I, I really feel like she's for the people, you know? And she's not afraid to speak out. I know she's not perfect, I know she makes mistakes. I had like some really close friends start buying from her because of like the whole thing back a couple years ago with the people getting poor quality stuff and stuff. And she's made changes to correct that. So I don't know if you're gonna get any Sultanicals. Hey, Sultanicals, love in the comments but I am on the side of Sultanica's love. I don't mind waiting for my products. I have a lot of products as you guys know and I enjoy her products so yeah. I'll probably put the Sultanica's videos where I use these products, the other two products down below in the description box so you guys can check it out as well. But yeah I love Sultanica's products so just haven't used them lately. I don't know. I just have so much to use but, to, but over the weekend I was like you know what it's been too long, let me use some, and I'm really glad I did. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye.